Embark on a captivating journey into the extraordinary as we explore the stories of five individuals who insist they've uncovered mysterious clues and experiences, hinting that the reality we know could be nothing more than a meticulously designed simulation. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Something is wrong with my girlfriend. The lockdown imposed during the pandemic has affected everyone, compelling us to spend more time indoors, leading to boredom, disconnection and apathy. For Tony, a man whose pre-lockdown life was content, the extended time in his apartment brought an unexpected revelation, a real glitch in the matrix. Prior to lockdown, Tony enjoyed a fulfilling life as a PhD student in a prestigious university's computer science department, residing with his longtime girlfriend, Jenna. The pandemic, however, unraveled their familiarity with each other. Tony observed subtle anomalies, such as Jenna, an avid coffee lover, suddenly adding sugar to her cup, a practice she previously criticized. As other inconsistencies surfaced, it seemed as if Jenna had undergone a transformation or reprogramming. The shock peaked when, working from home, Jenna mentioned a colleague named Larry, whom Tony insisted he didn't know. Jenna, convinced they worked together, highlighted a profound discrepancy in their realities. The couple grappled with the unsettling notion that one of their lives had been reset or altered. The question lingered. Was Jenna hallucinating, remembering a pre-glitch reality, or had Tony's life undergone an unexplained rewrite? The trust between them wavered as they pondered the possibility that one may have been complicit in the change. The overarching concerns surfaced. Could their closest friends and family be NPCs, non-player characters, in a simulated reality? In this uncertain landscape, the couple found themselves questioning the authenticity of their experiences, wondering if they were unwitting participants in their own personal Truman show. My husband thinks we both died. A type of glitch frequently reported involves the sudden, unexpected transformation of the everyday world. Sometimes, a subtle change occurs, while in other instances, the entire world seems to morph into something entirely new and unfamiliar. However, a particular case stands out as unique, as this perplexing shift in perception was not experienced by just one person, but by two. Many years ago, Cheryl and Jason were in a happy relationship, eagerly anticipating the future. During this period, a tragic incident should have brought their relationship to a horrifying end. One night, Jason was driving his truck with a friend when he encountered a treacherous patch of black ice. Despite attempts to maneuver, the truck slid into oncoming traffic. Miraculously, both Jason and his friend emerged unscathed from the mangled wreckage. Paramedics and crash investigators were baffled by how two people could walk away unharmed from such a severely damaged vehicle. The insurance company, upon inspecting the wreckage, shared the disbelief. Days later, Jason noticed a peculiar detail when visiting Cheryl at her apartment. Observing the flat-screen TV, he questioned the absence of another television he believed they had since the beginning of their relationship. Despite Cheryl's assurance, Jason insisted that a switch had occurred, and the TV was now an old tube television. As seven years passed, Cheryl and Jason got married. While on vacation in Italy, Cheryl fell seriously ill, experiencing cramps and bleeding. In a panic, Jason called for an ambulance, and Cheryl underwent emergency surgery, terminating an ectopic pregnancy. The doctor revealed that had the ambulance been delayed, Cheryl could have died. Two months after this emergency, while recovering at home, a conversation about fire risks ensued. Cheryl confidently mentioned the fire extinguisher they had bought and installed in a cupboard before their Italy trip. Much to Jason's confusion, he denied its existence. Cheryl, attempting to prove her point, opened the cupboard only to find no fire extinguisher and no evidence it had ever been there. No fittings or holes from screws. Just like the enigmatic change in the TV, the unsettling question lingered about these inexplicable shifts in their shared reality. Cheryl initially dismissed it as a trick, but Jason reminded her about the peculiar incident of the switching television, drawing parallels with the current perplexing situation. After contemplating the circumstances, Jason arrived at a startling realization. 
he discerned that the television had undergone a switch following his car crash, the very crash from which Cheryl inexplicably emerged unscathed. The subsequent disappearance of the fire extinguisher, fervently asserted by Cheryl, occurred shortly after her near-death experience, another instance of improbable survival. A pervasive sense of unease enveloped the couple as they surveyed their lives, realizing that things were awry. Jason conjectured that both instances marked their deaths and subsequent resetting, akin to a game, allowing them to persist within the simulation. For Jason and Cheryl, the afterlife wasn't a celestial realm, but rather a repetition of the same life, marred by a few glitches that served as disconcerting reminders, offering scant evidence of their deaths along the way. In certain films depicting simulations such as The Matrix, the appearance of a cat twice often signifies a change or alteration. Interestingly, a potential real-world glitch involving an animal emerges in this account, but instead of a cat, it involves a dog. On a seemingly ordinary afternoon at Ken's house, as he sat on the couch watching television, he noticed his dog choking on something. Hurrying to the dog's aid, Ken successfully helped it cough up a lodge piece of food, alleviating the immediate panic. After ensuring the dog's well-being, Ken resumed watching television, but remained more attentive to his canine companion. Observing the animal walk past him and settle on its bed just out of his line of sight, Ken listened as the dog drifted into a deep sleep, snoring as usual. However, a disturbing twist occurred when the dog emitted a peculiar, distressing noise, a coughing, wheezing sound Ken had never heard before. It resembled the animal's last breath, evoking an unsettling sensation. Despite his unease, Ken sprang off the couch to assist. As soon as the dog's bed came into view, the disconcerting sound abruptly ceased. Ken, bewildered, stared in disbelief at the empty bed. The door to the room was closed, and even if the dog had left, it would have had to pass Ken on the way. Fearing something terrible had happened, Ken searched the house for his pet, but found no trace of it. Despite calling out loudly, there was only silence. Just as Ken started to believe his dog had inexplicably vanished, he heard barking outside. Rushing out, he discovered his parents had the dog with them, having been on a walk for at least 30 minutes. The frightful experience left Ken shaken, prompting him to stay outside in the sunlight, attempting to dispel the unsettling notion that he had witnessed a genuine glitch in the Matrix. The lingering question remained. If his dog was outside with his parents, what was the entity walking around inside his home? An imposter or something indescribable? Diana, my sister knows things about people she's never met. A glitch in the matrix. This doesn't necessarily mean changes in things or altered behavior. Instead, it happens when a person can do things that seem impossible. It's like the glitch is bending the laws of physics for that person, giving them extraordinary abilities. If our world is like a simulation and glitches happen sometimes, could they create similar effects in our real lives? An intriguing story comes from someone named Sarah. Sarah's little sister, Diana, has abilities beyond the usual, and Sarah believes it's due to a glitch in the system. The glitches around Diana started before she was born. When their mother was pregnant with Diana, strange things happened at home. Objects disappeared and reappeared, and a box with Sarah's mom's wedding dress moved from the attic to the bathroom floor without anyone seeing it. When their mother found the box, she went into labor, rushed to the hospital. Tests showed that Diana had a genetic disorder. Despite the challenges, Diana, once born, showed remarkable abilities from a young age. At four, during a Christmas party for children with similar conditions, Diana comforted a woman who had recently lost her mother to cancer, accurately empathizing with her. Similar incidents continued throughout Diana's life. At 10, she claimed to talk with her late grandfather and biological grandmother, accurately describing her real grandmother's appearance. Diana even knew her grandmother's name, Jeannie, despite the family not discussing her due to decades of estrangement. The family was amazed by Diana's seemingly unexplainable insights into their history. Even as an adult, Diana continues to show her extraordinary gift. During Sarah's wedding, Diana made a distressing call, advising Sarah to leave her house just as her intoxicated husband arrived and attacked her. Prompted by her sister's tears, 
Sarah decided to leave her husband that night, crediting her sister's emotional warning. What does this all mean? While we've talked about psychics before, and Diana seems to have unique abilities, what if these skills aren't supernatural, but given by whoever controls the program? This true story suggests that mysterious psychic powers might be given, offering people information they wouldn't otherwise know. If this is true, how far does this rabbit hole go? It might be just a matter of time before someone gains immense power within the rules of this mysterious program. Gordon. Some people who study these strange situations think they happen when something in a computer program gets fixed or adjusted. It's like when a computer programmer finds a mistake, bug, and changes how it works to make it right. But sometimes, fixing one thing can cause other unexpected problems. There's a story about a man named Gordon who had a really weird experience. One evening, his neighbor called him out of the blue, asking for help moving a mattress upstairs. Gordon agreed because he knew the neighbor's mom was sick. When he got there, a friend, who was also a priest, was already helping. They started moving the mattress, but then they realized they had more furniture to bring inside. Gordon volunteered to help move a heavy wardrobe up the stairs. Something strange happened during this, and suddenly, Gordon was back in his dining room, avoiding a bad accident. His phone rang, and it was his wife. To his surprise, the neighbor was calling again, asking for help with the mattress. Gordon felt confused, but agreed, and went to the neighbor's house. Somehow, the time seemed to go back 20 minutes. The neighbor and the priest were there, just like before. Gordon, sure that the accident on the stairs was real, remembered details about the priest, even though he had never met him. When the neighbor showed him the mattress again, Gordon agreed to help with that, but not the wardrobe, confusing the neighbor. Gordon then shared the whole story, saying he went through the same moment twice. Even though it sounds hard to believe, Gordon described parts of the upstairs in the house, even though he had never been there before. This adds credibility to his unusual experience. 